I'm finally getting around to doing another perfume video today. This is some more in my collection. I've had this basket sitting right here by my recliner for about a month. I've been vacuuming around it and finally had time today. I have gone back into work some in the beauty, beauty industry and I just the past couple weeks has been just crazy. So I'm going to try to do these quickly. I'll kind of mention something about it like if I have two, if I'm, I may have showed it before. Um, this right here, what I have here came out of the top drawer in my big chest that's in my bedroom. But I have also moved some stuff around. So if it's a possibility I've already showed it to you, I will tell you, try to tell you, and I can also try to tell you if I do actually know for sure I have more than just that bottle. So you may have seen it before too. So let's see. I'm going to try to, you know, I'm always disheveled here. All right, so let's start out with, this is a body spray. I had, this is like a holy grail for me. So it is in my perfume drawer. I have uh, just recently gotten, I would say 90% of my body sprays in one area since the big move last year. So um, decluttering and downsizing and all that. So uh, this one does stay with my collect my holy girl collection and I have several of these you've probably already seen one and you'll see it again because this one looks like it's by itself in here it's the Sol Sol Janeiro ever how you say that Coco Cabana this is my favorite one they have a brand new one that not the yellow one I don't like that one um this one's kind of a tan brown color light brown color whatever and it's a caramel scent and this one's kind of the same way real gourmand i just have never liked the yellow so that's a body spray and i do keep it in the top drawer collection with some of my favorites this is atelier cologne and i keep this in the box so this will be moved because well actually i may just take it out of the box because this is the small one this is pacific lime i always thought it was funny that it's in a pink bottle it looks like they would have, or a pink, not a pink bottle, a clear bottle with a pink label. Looks like they would have done this in green. And I actually like this mixed with some of the marshmallowy, very vanilla fragrances. Because um, it, it's kind of, um, my nose is running, I'm hot. It's kind of bitey on its own. Well, not that's not what I mean. It's actually pretty on its own. Um... I just like it a little bit more gourmand than what this comes off as. So that's that one. And I may have showed you this one before because I may have moved this one. Um, this is Replica. This is by the fireplace. Or it could be that I showed you the half ounce bottle that I have. Uh, and I also have, just because I will be putting them together for future reference, I have one bottle this size of Jazz Club. Love them both, which is extremely weird for me because the first note listed on Fragranica for Jazz Club is tobacco, and I don't like Tom Ford vanilla, vanilla tobacco, tobacco vanilla. Well, I hate that fragrance. So this next one is Estee Lauder Pleasures Intense. It's the big bottle. I know I have several of these, so I believe I have one one ounce and possibly a one point seven somewhere. I'm gonna try to get those together too. So if I've shown that before it could be that I showed you another bottle um I love this scent if you want a true incense that's not um the churchy weird medicinal incense but it's a good smooth incense this is the best one I've ever found um uh, Matthew Williamson did an incense too and that one's a little different than this they're both very good but this is really smooth it's Rogba Wood Intense EDP I saw a video of somebody doing that one, and I love incense it's not a, as long as it's not weird. I don't like the medicinal, so I'm, I'm just kind of funny about that. This is my C, and I don't ha I have a scent bird of the original C. This is the rose one, and I recently bought Fiore. I believe that's how it's pronounced, or how I don't have it in here with me. C Fiore? Anyway, so I have this. I have the scent bird. I canceled my scent bird because I was with them for over five years and I have so many. But I also am waiting on my first um, royalty scent package. Uh, I got Tom Ford Bitter Peach and because I love a true peach scent. And that's mainly the reason I joined that one because it had some on there that were 
more, you know, expensive. You don't really want to blind buy them. I have nowhere to smell them. And, you know, you can just try them for 20 bucks a month. So I have two bottles of this next one. It's the Atelier Cologne, and this is Santel Carmen, or Carmine, ever how you want to say it. Love this scent. I don't think the other one is in this basket, though. I think it's in another drawer in there. So this is Sicily Soir d'Orient EDP, and I like this regular than the reg. Shoot, I can't talk. I like this better than the regular one. And I'm trying to think. I guess it's just a Sicily Soir, and this is the d'Orient. I like this one better. <sighs> Sorry, when I get hot, I don't know why I didn't turn the air down a little bit, because when I start doing videos, I get hot. Um, I have a backup bottle of this, but I believe it's in the box. This next one is La Artisan, and I have one, two, three, four right here. I think I have a little bit more than these four, but uh, this is La Chase of Papillons. That means, I think it's French for chasing butterflies. Love this. And that's what this one is too. So those two, not much left in either one. Um, that was my first purchase. And then I repurchased it. And this is the Mirror de Musk. This is, ever how you say that? Okay, it's the Blackberry Musk one. This one is so light. I mean, it is so light. So if you want a strong... Blackberry Musk, go for Trish McAvoy, number nine. This one you just, and I like that one a whole lot better and it's a lot sweeter. But this is good if you like a light, not as sweet Blackberry Musk scent. This is Saffron True Blunt. That is the only way I know how to say this one. Y'all, I'm just trying to get these out of here, okay? So, so I can put these up. Um, let's see. This one is... Frank Olivier Paris Oud Vanille, and this is the EDP. And I must have seen somebody talk about this on a video because I have never heard. I mean, he may be famous, but I've never heard. I try to keep my sprayers turned forward, but that gets messed up. Oh, this is good. This is, um, if you like Delina or if you like um, Lancome Oud Bouquet, You'll like this, and I am not a fan at all. I've sold mine, or it's in the basket or something to be sold. I think I sold it. The, um, that dupe, uh, oh my God, I got too many words going through my head. The dupe for the, the oud bouquet that everybody swears is a dupe, it's totally medicinal to me. It is not like oud bouquet. The original oud bouquet, I don't have the reformulated version. I don't need it. I have two bottles. I have a backup bottle and my other oud bouquet. Like, I hoard it like mad crazy. Um, What is that one? It's the, uh, I'll think of it in just a minute. It's the one in the gold bottle it, that everybody swore was a dupe. I hate it. And I love Lancome oud bouquet. So sweet. Just adore it. Okay, so this is from Epiphany Perfume Company, and you guys may have seen this if you've ever been. I, I don't know where all the, these are all sold. Um, I first was introduced to this company when they had a store in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and they make dupes. Well, this is the dupe for Coco Mademoiselle, and this does smell a lot like Coco Mademoiselle, but this is greener, and I absolutely adore it. I have bought that. You'll see a bottle that is probably a few years old, still smells the same. I think I ended up having a little bit left in one bottle that eventually turned, but it was years old. This is my new one. So this is repurchased, and these are like $20. So if you like Coco Mademoiselle and you like green, um, this is wonderful. But it's, I'll show you the label. And I don't know if they still have a store, in case you want to check it out, if it's in Gatlinburg. Gatlinburg burnt down a couple years ago, and I've been told they rebuilt, but I also tried to call the store one time and couldn't get through, so I don't know if um, they opened that store back up or not, but I ordered that online, so I found somebody that was selling them, so you can just look up the company, I guess. This is Elizabeth and James. This is the only one that I actually love. The This is uh, Nirvana Rose. I like the black one because it's sort of an incense scent. I can wear it, and I'm getting rid of the white one. Um... Uh, that vanilla bourbon, it's okay. I don't think I ever bought it. Um, and I 
the ones, the other ones, I think one had like a lavender Earl Grey. I don't remember what it was, but it just wasn't bottle worth it to me. I have another bottle of this. I'm not sure. I think it's in the box. I may have two backups because when they discontinued one of them, I mean, they may have brought it back, but I freaked out because this is one of my, I don't, I'm over the rose perfume kick, okay? But I like this rose a lot. I'm kind of over this type of rose. And I guess it's because for about two years, I just wore them slam out. But I know I have one backup of the um, rose and that. I'm going to put these to the side because I can't, I can't see these at all. This is Jill Sander Sun, and I do have a bigger bottle that I believe is still in the box, but I adore this scent. Somebody had mentioned that it smelled a lot like another scent that, oh, the Crystal Carrington, whatever, from back in the day. Um, and it could be on Fragrant ago, or it could have been in a video, I don't know. It's not that, I because I have that. I have it in the refrigerator. I freaking love that scent. I hoard that one, too. I love that. I don't know why they ever discontinue that. I don't care if it's dated. I don't care what it is. That's one of my favorite scents in the world, the Crystal from the Carrington series or whatever it is. You'll get to see it when I go through my refrigerator. Um, this is a EDT natural spray. So I have the bigger bottle. I bought this one first. Um, let's see what this is. I'm going to have to, some of these I'm going to have to do in another video because I laid my little thing down to see, well, some of these are worn off. So I'm going to have to try to read that and I just can't read it without glasses on. So this is Eli Saab. That is how you pronounce his name. Le Parfum, and this is the Rose Couture. I have the regular and this, and that's all I have. Uh, no. I don't know. I can't think right now. So this is from, I believe it's pronounced Keys Perfumes, and this is Jasmine Macarons. Macarons are... I gotta say this right. Macarons are the cookies, macaroons are the coconut things. So this is a macaron, and then the round coconut thing is a macaroon. Um, this is absolutely stunning. I have the bigger, I think this is one ounce, I have the 3.4 ounce in this too. I fell in love with a few of these from Keys. And this is from Sugar Milk Company. I'm trying to keep these together that are like this. Um, and I ordered samples first, maybe like 10. I think you can order them on the website for a couple of dollars a piece. And, um, this is Frosted Animal Cookie. I believe I liked two, but I'm pretty sure this is the only one that was full bottle worth, full bottle worthy because these are still like $45. So, you know, for an Andy brand, um, kind of expensive. And it says Silky Oil Perfume. I mean, the lasting power is okay. It's not... Why is it that sometimes just when you think an oil is going to last longer because it's oil-based, it just doesn't? I mean, I don't know. Okay, so this is um, Jake's house from Henry Rose. And I think I showed you guys this when I bought it. <laughs> haven't used it a lot. It doesn't take a lot. I, I've sprayed this. I've used this probably four times, and I've sprayed like two sprays. I'm a pretty light sprayer. This one is a, it's a beautiful, the, the kind of copper tony. Like, I like this better than Bobby Brown Beach. You guys know I don't like Bobby Brown Beach if you've been watching my videos. But I do like those type of scents, like the Tierra Flower. Um, and that's what this one is. Um, kind of the same realm with, like, Jill Sanders' son. Now... No, 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 not really. Not really. Sorry, I lied. So, let's see what else. Oh, okay. All right, let's see what I've done here. Okay, so this was, yep, they're the same size. I ordered a frosted animal cookie, and then I ordered a backup. Because they don't, I read online that they only come out with these certain times of year. That's not true. They just don't, they do limited restocks, and when they do it, they only do, let's just say, for example, 10 or 12 cents. I guess so the batches are, are fresh. Um, so it's not certain times of the year. It's just that if you sign up with Sugar Milk Company, they will send you emails when they're getting ready, and they'll do their restock like Friday start at noon, Saturday till Sunday at 6 p.m. or something. So I was afraid that I would not be able to get this, and I love this scent. They have a, 
cereal milk. They have like, and that's okay. I just like the frosted animal cookie better. Um, they have like strawberry. I, they have a lot of like cool scents like that. This is a BB uh, perfume, original BB. I don't like the sheer or anything like that. I need to use this up. I can tell it's turning a little bit colored. I, that doesn't mean it's bad. Nope, it's perfect. Oh my God, I love this perfume so much. So much. You can still buy, they discontinued this in, well, I don't even think they have BB stores anymore. Ours closed. Well, the one that we, I used to go to in Charlotte. Um, but you can buy this all the time, a lot of times in TJ Maxx, and I have tons of bottles because now they're so cheap. Um, you guys like peach. I don't know who makes this. And I can put it in my pile for my um, magnifying glass. But this is peach musk, and this is a... Um, I don't know who makes it because it's all rubbed off, okay? Like, everything else rubbed off. I can try to... This is so good, and I do have a full backup bottle that's still in the box. But this is just a wonderful peach scent. It's very light, but it lasts a long, long time. It's crazy because it was a really cheap fragrance, too. Um, I think I showed you one bottle, possibly two, but I have three. I'm not sure because, you know, I'm crazy like that. Zara, a sweet pastry in Paris. I believe this was my first bottle, this was my second bottle, and then I got another bottle. And it's gone. So, it's just gone. This is Magalon Terracotta. Okay, so this is the sun. Kind of, um, like Jake's house. Yeah, but they're, I mean, they're, sti they're still a bit different. This one's a little sharp with that um, molecule, what is it, the one that kind of smells like, um, putting it on a polish remover, <laughs> that's what I call it, um, Juliet has a gun, whatever that one is, you're going to kind of smell that in here, less in here, but both of them are kind of like copper tone, um, for that white flower scents, um, this is, oh my God, what's the name of this company? See, I hate it when these, I mean, this is, it's not worn off or anything. It's ice cream shop. Ganache. This was like the, the worst bottle he ever tried to use. I hope that he doesn't use this again. Um, but anyway, I have several bottles of these in different bottles. So, um, what is this? Okay, and this is the, okay, that must be, one of these must be um, one I ordered from Chris, Sweet Pastry in Paris, because I've got nothing but love in here, too, and I had gotten that from, from her. Um, oh, God, bananas. I love banana scents, and this is one of the truest, gosh, banana ice cream, not banana ice cream, vanilla ice cream with bananas. And nuts on it. Oh my God. I love this scent so freaking much. And it's not for everybody. If you don't like scents like this. Or um, just real, real sweet. Like somebody could bite your arm. Fragrances, you're not going to like this. But I do. And again, I mean, it's longevity on this. You might get a couple hours of it. And it's an oil. I, I don't know. But... Anyway, so I have just pulled out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about ten to show you in another video where I have a microscope because nobody wants you to read what's on any of these. I actually found the cap for a perfume bottle. Can you believe it? I try to keep up with my caps now. Back in the day, up to about four or five years ago, I didn't care if the cap was on there or not because most of the time it doesn't even matter as long as you keep them dark and cool. The what does matter is the poofs that you puff out. Your perfume will evaporate out through those. So if you get one of those and you can take that poof off and put something else on it because your uh, perfume does evaporate through that. So that's it for this video and I'm so glad that I got this out because now I can get this out of my floor. You guys have a great day. Subscribe if you have not. Thumbs up and I'm not finished. I think I'm over halfway through my collection but I'm not finished yet. So um, yeah, just we're just trying to keep up with all this mess. You guys have a great day.